spirituality is actually a bit misleading when we use it in our context. There's physical, there's spiritual, but then there's godly. Spiritual and godly are not the same thing. There are matters of the spirit, which are human qualities. Godly means that it's about God. That's a whole different universe, so to speak. So spiritual means matters of the spirit. Um, nobility, idealism, these are all spiritual things, but they're very human. They're not um, supernatural. They're part of the nature of a human being. We have our physical side, we have our spiritual side. But it's all part of creation. Then there's godliness, which is the creator, which is a whole different thing. So doing a mitzvah, for example, is doing something godly. Now you can do it physically, I mean you should do it physically, and you should also have kavana. What is your intention? What inspires you to do the mitzvah? What are you experiencing and feeling when you do the mitzvah? That's the spiritual part. The godly part is, this is God's mitzvah. You're serving Him, which is much greater than spiritual. Also, spiritual people can be evil people. They have spiritual talents, maybe even gifts. <clears throat> they can be clairvoyant. They can even be prophets, like Bilam. Bilam was a very spiritual guy, but he was an evil man. Which is, of course, not the same as godly. Godly is, by definition, good and moral maybe even more than moral, but it's certainly, you cannot be godly and evil, but you can be spiritual and evil. So spiritual needs to be elevated to the godly. The physical should be refined by the spiritual. Everything needs to move upwards, but the spiritual itself is not an end. It's only a tool a tool by which we can serve God better. If you liked that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.